Hare Krishna, my name is Vijay Venugopal Das and I'm going to answer the question how do we get a balance between material life and spiritual life? Now, I'm going to answer in a different way. We all know about balances and every balance has a fulcrum which around which the two sides are uh, rotated or they balance. So, my answer is that if your fulcrum is Krishna, the Supreme Lord, then it's very easy to obtain a balance between spiritual life and material life. Normally, why people are conflicted by this is that they think that material life and spiritual life are opposite or they are at right angles to each other. If you do one, you can't do the other. And therefore, you sort of do 50-50. Sometimes this and sometimes that. Sometimes this and sometimes that. And these are in conflict and therefore we are constantly in tension. Where is my balance? Where is my balance? So this is going to make life always difficult and tension ridden. When we are in spiritual life, we are worrying whether we have neglected our material life. When we are in material life, we are worrying whether we have neglected our spiritual life. And in this way, we are never happy. We are always feeling a little frustrated. So the secret is actually to keep the fulcrum as Krishna. And if Krishna is at the center, then these two, material life and spiritual life, they don't have to be opposite. They don't have to be at right angles, but they can be congruent. If you put Krishna at the center of your material life also, and if in your spiritual life you make sure your material life is taken care of, then everything mixes nicely then you don't feel as if you're divided into two different people. When you're in your material life, for example, you're at home, you may be a housewife or a homemaker, as we call them nowadays, preparing something. And then you think that that is different from spiritual life? No, it should not be different from spiritual life. Your home should actually be a center where your spiritual life originates. You worship Krishna in your home. And you keep your home as a place which belongs to Krishna and where we are staying temporarily as tenants. And the food which we prepare is done for Krishna and it is offered to Krishna. And we maintain the house clean as a service to Krishna. And we welcome people to come and join in worshipping Krishna in our house. So then any work you do at home that has got Krishna in the middle, so it is easily balanced. That is also spiritual life. It is also material life. This extends to everything else, including the family. The family also, we should remember, all are part of Krishna. No one is different. If we are all part of Krishna and this house belongs to Krishna, then everything can center around Krishna. And we serve the family, whether it's our parents or our children or our husband or our wife. We serve them as parts of Krishna. We don't worry about the differences. Of course, the externals are different. Each of us has many lifetimes of previous experiences which are affecting us on the outside. So these externals may differ from me and you and everyone else. But when we see that we're all part of Krishna, it is just like actors in a play. If there are people acting in a play, they all know that they're not the mask which they're wearing. They're not that role which they're playing. They all know each other as actors and they are friends. They are not affected by any disagreements during the play. So we will not be affected by disagreements. We will not get too attached to the characters in the play. We'll be attached to the real people. This way, our whole, entire home life, our family life is Krishnaized. So no difference between material and spiritual life. Completely balanced. And even if you are working, our work should be done as a service to Krishna. We may wonder how. I'm working in a bank. I'm working in an advertising agency. I'm working in a multinational company. I'm doing IT. What has that got to do with Krishna? It is this. Everything belongs to someone else. We are working for a company which belongs to someone. We think it belongs to the shareholders. We think we are reporting to our bosses and so on. But ultimately, who does everything belong to? Yes, it belongs to Krishna. So if it all belongs to Krishna and if the ultimate owner is Krishna, then we can very happily work for our enterprise. This belongs to Krishna. I may have so many bosses in between, but this belongs to Krishna. So I must do my best and I must make sure this endeavor prospers, this enterprise prospers because it belongs to Krishna. We'll work in such a happy mood 
and we will not be separated from Krishna. So this is a way very nicely we balance between spiritual and material life. In spiritual life, we make sure that we don't fall sick, we are healthy, we have a reasonable amount of comfort and if these are also there in our spiritual life, we don't uh, deny ourselves anything, we are reasonably comfortable, then very nicely spiritual life and material life are balanced and we are happy and we are one single person. Hare Krishna.